Good morning to you all, my wonderful students. I'm happy to be here once again, and I know you are all happy to see me on this platform from your various home. I hope we are all keeping safe. Please ensure you wash your hands regularly or you sanitize them with an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Today, we shall be treating the fourth topic for this term, which is ethical issues in science and development. But before then, let's have a quick recap of what we learned last week. Last week, we talked about pregnancy, the implications of teenage pregnancy. Also, we discussed about abortion and types of abortion. And like I said in our last teaching, all these are meant for you to know and not for you to ever practice any one of these. And that brings us to what we discussed again are concerning abstinence, which is the refraining or total denial of yourself from any form of sexual activities or immorality, especially with the opposite sex, whether a boy or a girl. Like I said earlier on, we shall be treating our first, first topic for this term, which is ethical issues in science and technology under the subheading, the right and wrong application of science. But before we move ahead, let's see the learning objective of today's topic. Today, at the end of this class, you all should be able to define what is the meaning of ethic. You should be able to define science and mention some development in science. Also, you should be able to identify the right and wrong use of application of science. And finally, we should be able to discuss the implication of the application of science to the development of our society. What is ethic? Ethic is defined as a set of principle of right or wrong behavior, representative of a specific culture, society, group, or individual. It is also a moral principles that controls or influence a person's behavior. Ethical is said to be the acceptable principle of what is right or wrong. We have seen an act of situation where someone enter a plane with a nuclear weapon, bombs and grenades with the aid of destroying the plane himself and all the passengers on board. This is very cruel. And we all know that what he's using are the development of science, but he or she is using them in a wrong way. Let's see the meaning of science. Science is defined as the knowledge about the structure and behavior of the natural and physical world based on facts that can be proved by an experiment. Yes, before we can say, this is the end product or the end point of whatever it we have made. It has to be proved or supported by an experiment, which later can be developed to law. Development, therefore, is the process of producing or creating something new or more advanced. Many, many young adults are taken to crime using what science has created, such as gone to evade houses supermarket and bank. They cut away with goods, money, some even resort in killing people in the process. What this person uses are development of science. Like I said earlier on, he or she is still using this developmental science in a wrong way. Guns are not meant to kill innocent people. Guns are not meant to be to use to rob banks. They are meant to, to to be used in a good way to arrest defaulters. Let's go on. So let's see some development of science. One of it is science has been able to produce cars, trains, airplane, air jets, ocean liners, rockets, and several others, as opposed to the old method of transportation, like the use of camel, horse, canoes, and donkeys. Before in the olden days, camels, horses, and donkeys, even canoe, are used as a method of transportation. But with the science, development of science, we've been able to develop
there were cars, airplane, rocket, and so on to make transportation easier, faster, and safer. Secondly, there has been development of science in the area of telephone, fax, internet, email, telex, radio, and tele television for communication. Whereas in the olden days, they can use gunshots, bottle message, and all other as a form of communication, like we are on this platform. This is a development of science. We are, you are home, and you can see me from your various home. We can see this platform is a good application of science. Number three, science has been helpful in the production of grenade, atomic missiles, machine gun, warplanes, and submarine warships as opposed to the use of bow and arrow that they use in the olden days when there is war. And lastly, science has been able to help us again in the production of babies without going through the normal process of reproduction. We call them test tube babies. What are the right and wrong use of science? We have many right and wrong use of the application of science. The right application of science is that which tends to be better, the lot of mankind, while the wrong application tends to destroy life, properties, peace, and can also result to accidents. The following examples are the right and wrong use of the application of science in our society. Number one, the, science, the use of medical science to cure ailments, diseases. Why the wrong use is used in medical science to kill or terminate life. This can be seen in abortion, like we discussed last week. The process of abortion is the wrong use of science because we are going to terminate life. Why the right use is in the production of vaccine to cure ailments or disease in our society. Secondly, the use of science and technologies to produce communication equipment, computer, internet, satellite television is a right application of science. While internet fraud, cyber crime, ETC are the wrong application of science. We see our young boys, our young men going into cyber crime, the one we all know to be Yahoo Yahoo. These and many more are the wrong use of application of science. And finally, science has also been useful because in technology, they used to produce weapons of war. When the government of nations decide to go into war with another nation, how many lives and property do you think will be lost? I would say that is a wrong use of application. If Nigeria decides to go to war with Japan, do you know how many Nigerians or Japanese that will lose their life in the process? These and many more are the wrong and right use of the application of science in our society. I believe with this short note or my short explanation, we've been able to see the right and wrong use of the application of science. We have been able to know what ethics and ethica is. And also we, we have been able to discuss more about what science entails. I believe if you want to read more on this topic, please kindly visit the school website to get a comprehensive note on this topic, that is ethical use in science and technology. You can also read more from our recommended text, Basic Science for Junior Secondary School by Gio Omotsuyole. I'm so glad to be here once again, and I know you are all happy to see me. Please, I would encourage and advise you so please read your notes very well and follow the assignment. Attempt the assignment that follows and submit online. I wish us best of luck. See you soon in our next class. Bye. Bye-bye.